hey guys ad forest pro here welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to go over the different forms of trading orders that you can place when buying a financial instrument if you are new to forest and you are finding it hard to place your first trade or maybe set your stop loss and take profit levels in this video you are going to learn how to do all that so without wasting much of your time let's get straight to the video there are basically three types of trading orders for now we'll just be talking in details about the first one instant market execution we will discuss about the other types as we advance so as not to complicate things step by step instant market execution this is a buy or sell order that is executed immediately at the current market price this type of order guarantees that the order will be executed but does not guarantee the execution price. A market order generally we execute at or near the current bid for a sell order or ask for a buy order price. Let's say a currency pair is presently at $25 and you clicked on buy. What you did was instant market execution because you bought at that current price. This form of trading is the most used one compared to the others. So how do we place orders using the market execution order? Let's look at some practical examples to illustrate this and we are going to be using the MT4 app for this. If you don't have it already, you can download it on Play Store so you can follow along. So when you open your MT4 app on the currency pair page, long press any of the currency pair, it will display the set of options. Select new order mt4 by default is already set on market execution however to see other options click on the market execution it displays the other forms of trading orders that we'll discuss later below is where you select either to buy the pair or sell the pair at the current market price if you are using a demo account you can try to see how to execute orders to learn about it let's say you click buy your order will be immediately filled it takes you to where you can watch your trade it usually starts with red loss though what if you want to close your trade long press the pair you want to close it will display a list of options the first option is to close the order the second option offers the opportunity to enter another order on the same pair in forest you can enter multiple trades on the same pair the third option is to modify the order this is where you set stop loss and take profit the last option is to view the chart of the current pair however if you select close click on close it will close your open position here is what i want you to do try to execute orders get familiar with the mt4 platform close orders for now forget about profit and loss it's demo money now let's look at another forms of market orders take profit and stop loss orders let's start with take profit as a trader you don't have to always be online to monitor all your trades you don't have to be with your phone or pc all day if you are employed you have to do your job you have other activities that you engage in these where market orders come in take profit is a form of market order that tells the broker to close your trade for you and lock in your profit when your trade moves a certain number of pips in your desired direction even if you are not online take profit orders are limit orders that are closed when a specified profit level is reached remember that in forex we are always doing two things buying and selling let's look at the buy example to use a take profit order traders establish a price at which they want to buy a currency pair this price is one sufficiently above the price at which the pair was bought to ensure that the traders will make a profit on the sale once the take profit point is reached the order is triggered if that point isn't reached the sale is not executed the sale example to use a take profit order traders establish a price at which they want to sell a currency pair this price is one sufficiently below the price at which the pair was bought to ensure that traders will make a profit on the sale once the take profit point is reached the order is triggered if that point isn't reached the sale is not executed 
Let's use a local example to illustrate this point. We will use dollars instead of pips to simplify the explanation. Let's say the current price of a pair is $50. You anticipate that price will go up by $40. Your profit will be $40. You don't want to watch your chart until it gets to your desired point. So you set your TP at 50 plus 40 is equal to $90. When price eventually gets to $90, your order will be immediately filled. One thing I tell beginners is, don't be greedy. Set a reasonable take profit. Take the little you can and move on. You don't have to target $100 daily as a beginner. $20 is a good start. So this is how TP works. Once you set it at a particular price on your MT4, whether you are online or not, it closes the trade for you and locks profit let's now open our mt4 to see where to set our tp on it so that we can also see practical examples using real currency pairs open your mt4 click on the icon pointed at by the blue boss from any page you are currently on to take you to your charts then click on the icon pointed at by the red boss to take you to another page where you would see where to impute in your tp the red boss is where you insert your take profit. Later, we'll get to what the blue boss means. So, having seen where to insert the take profit, we will do some practical examples of how to calculate take profit. So, now let's consider some practical examples to illustrate the points more clearly. Please, let's focus here. Assuming I bought AUD CHF at that current ax price of 0.6907 seen in this image and i want a take profit of 20 pips what i would do is to add 20 pips to that former value of 0.6907 and i would have 0.6927 i hope everyone remembered our pips calculation this is where we are going to be using it if you have not watched my last video where i talked about what a pip is and how to calculate pips you can go and check it out on my YouTube channel or I will leave a link above this video. So, my TP for that trade will be 0.6927. I would go into that TP boss piece and type it in. So, immediately the currency pair rises doing its usual fluctuations and get to 0.6927. My broker through the automation of MT4 would immediately close the trade for me whether i'm online or not and then add my profit to my account notice that i used ax price because i was buying doing selling we will use bid price i also made a video on what a bid and ax price is on my channel go check it out link above this video take note that since i'm buying in this example i had the pips let's see another example let's take a card chf at the current ax price of 0.7051 let's say i want to buy the pair and i want a profit of 35 pips for me to get a tp of 35 pips from that trade i will need card chf to rise to 0 0.7086 0 0.7051 plus 35 pips and I will go into my TP boss and type in 0 0.7086. When card CHF rises to 0 0.7086, my broker will automatically close my trade for me and add my profit to my account. Remember in buying, we are making reference to the ax price, not the bid price. That is why we are making reference to 0 0.7051 and not 0 0.7042. The other price on the left which is the bid price so when card chf rises and gets to 0 0.7086 which will be a 35 pips move my broker through the automation of the mt4 once again will close the order and keep my profits in my forest account so let's get to the sell example let's focus closely from here onwards this is where people always get confused and ask questions However, encourage yourself, you don't have to be a mathematician. Many are trading for us and doing the basic addition and subtraction, so you too can do it. So let's follow closely from here. In selling a currency pair, you are selling after you have found out from your technical or fundamental analysis that the price will fall. Hope you remember that as the price is falling, 
you will make profit if you are selling is the opposite of buying let's take for example let's say price is at 100 dollars and it falls to 55 dollar the broker through automation of the mt4 would add your 45 pips profit if you sold the pair to your account that's the beauty of forex you make money both ways whether a currency is rising or falling it's none of your business you just enter in the right direction and get your cash let's now see practical examples let's say after our analysis we found out that euro chf would fall so we decided to short euro chf pair remember now we are interested in the bid price because we are selling and the bid price is currently at 1.0822 and i want a tp of 20 pips what will be the value of my tp yeah because we are expecting it to fall our tp will be below not above so subtracting 20 pips from 1.0822 we have 1.0802 hence i will impute 1.0802 into the same tp balls we used when we were buying same tp boss is used both when you are buying or selling so when euro chf falls and reaches 1.0802 my broker will automatically close and add my profit for me let's see another example let's say that after analyzing the market i want to short usd jpy and i only want a tp of 40 pips from that current bid price of 109.50 take note bid price because we are selling what would my tp be i will just subtract 40 pips from that current bid price because i'm selling and i will get 109.10 hence i will impute 109.10 into the tp boss when price get there my profit will be automatically added to my accounts take note of this when buying you set your tp above the current market value when selling you set your tp below the current market value when buying tp is above because you want price to go up higher when selling tp is below because you want price to go down lower please take time to watch this video if there is anything you don't understand rewatch the video or leave a comment and i will gladly help you i will drop some assignments on it later Stop loss is another important form of market order which is like the opposite of the take profit order. Here you are giving your broker the instruction to close your trade when the market wants to go against you. A forex stop loss is a function offered by brokers to limit losses in volatile markets moving in a contrary direction to the initial trade. This function is implemented by setting a stop loss level a specified amount of pips away from the entry price. The market is always going up and down and sometimes a news may pop up and sway the market in the opposite direction in which your trade was planned. But with a stop loss order, immediately the market wants to change and go the opposite direction. Your broker would close the trade for you through your MT4 even if you are not online. Let's see where to put the stop loss order in our MT4. Go to the same place where you inserted TP. The boss on the left in a blue box is where you type in your stop loss. Example, let's use dollar once more to explain. Let's say I want to buy a currency pair named AAA and BBB and the price is currently at $40 and I want a TP of $50. So I would set my TP at $90. We saw this part earlier. Now after setting my TP, I would also tell my broker that look Mr. Man, I'm buying. So I want my trade to be open only when the price is going up. That if the price tries to go down by let's say more than $10, close my trade for me. So you only want to stay in the trade when the price is going up. Now you give your broker a stop loss order of $10. Remember the initial price was $40. So for a stop loss of $10, you will set it at $30. So anytime the price reverses, and start falling without your knowledge if it gets to your 30 dollars your trade would close for you preventing further losses even if you are not online technology of mt4 has made forest so interesting you control how much you earn and also how much you don't want to lose in case market reverses let's see some real examples now let's say i want to buy card chf at that axe price of 
0.70511 and I want a TP of 40 pips and I don't want to lose more than 5 pips, what will now be my TP and stop loss? My TP will be at 0.7091 after adding 40 pips to the current price and my stop loss will be at 0.7046 after subtracting 5 pips from the current price. I will now type in both into the TP and stop loss balls respectively. Now let's get to how to calculate stop loss in the opposite scenario which is selling. Pay attention to this so as not to get confused. Take your time to understand it. Remember in selling, you are only making money when the price is falling like we saw earlier. So let's say you want to sell currency pair TTT and UUU and the price is currently at $80 and you want a TP of $50. Remember here you are selling so your TP is always below so you set it at $30 which is $50 below the initial price of $80. Now let's get to stop loss. While selling you don't want the price to rise that would be going against you. So for selling you set your stop loss above the price in case if it tries to rise. You are telling your broker to cut you off the market. So assuming I don't want to lose more than $5, I will now set my stop loss $5 above the initial price of $80. Hence my stop loss will now be at $85. If you notice this is exactly the opposite of what we did while buying. While buying, our stop loss was below the price. Now it's above the price. Let's say I want to sell Euro CHF at the current bid price of 1.0822 because I know it will fall soon for my analysis. And I want a TP of 20 pips and I don't want to lose more than 5 pips. What would be my TP on stop loss? My TP would be at 1.0802 after subtracting 20 pips from that current bid price because I am selling. Why my stop loss will be at 1.0827 after adding 5 pips to the current bid price of 1.0827. Notice that I am using bid price here and not the ask price because we are selling. So pips calculation is basically straightforward if you learn how to calculate it. It's not rocket science, just addition and subtraction. Just note when you are buying or selling. In summary, while buying, your TP is above because you want the price to go up. Why your stop loss is below because if it starts going down, that's against your trade plan. In reverse, while selling, your TP is below because you want the price to fall your stop loss should be above because if it starts going up, that's not your trade plan again. Take your time to go through today's lesson. Practice with the following assignment. As usual, send answers to me personally on Telegram. Link is in the description of this video so that others can do theirs. Assignment 1. Assuming we want to buy GBPUSD from the current ax price of 1.2351 and I want a TP of 45 pips and stop loss of 8 pips, what would be my TP and stop loss values? Assignment 2. Assuming we want to buy USD card from the current ax price of 1.4105 and I want a TP of 60 pips and stop loss of 8 pips, what would be my TP and stop loss values? Assignment 3. Assuming you want to sell USD JPY from the current bid price of 107.45 and I want a TP of 40 pips and stop loss of 8 pips, what would be my TP and stop loss values? Assignment 4. Assuming you want to sell USD CHL from the current bid price of 0.9750 and I want a TP of 35 pips and stop loss of 8 pips, what would be my TP and stop loss values? Please attempt the above assignments. That's the only way we will know areas where you need help. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it this far, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows this video is good. In addition, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about the different forms of trading orders. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. In the next lesson, I'm going to be talking about leverage. And until the next video, guys, take care. And